America's new defense chief is expected to visit Seoul in the coming weeks. James Mattis and his South Korean counterpart Han ming gu will have plenty to chew over amid the rising North Korean threats, simmering tension with China, and defense cost sharing for U.S. troops' presence in the nation. Kim Hyun-bin outlines what to expect from the meetings. Newly confirmed U.S. Defense Secretary James Mad Dog Mattis is expected to visit Seoul early next month for talks with his South Korean counterpart Han ming gu South Korea's defense ministry said Wednesday that the two allies are currently in talks to iron out the details of what could be Mattis's first overseas trip as President Trump's defense chief. The official added that Mattis is also considering a stop in Tokyo, but it's unclear which capital he'll visit first. The two defense chiefs are expected to reaffirm the South Korea-U.S. alliance and discuss ways to better counter North Korea's nuclear and missile threats. Other possible agenda items could include the planned deployment of the THAAD missile defense system to South Korea, which is scheduled for the middle of the year, and the renegotiation of the defense sharing burden. Meanwhile, the top nuclear envoys from South Korea, the U.S., and Japan are also expected to meet next month in Washington to discuss ways to enhance cooperation in dealing with North Korea's nuclear and missile threats. South Korea's foreign ministry said Wednesday that Kim Hong-kyun, Seoul's special representative for Korean Peninsula Peace and Security Affairs, will meet with his U.S. and Japanese counterparts, Joseph Yoon and Kenji Kanasugi. This meeting will be the first under the new U.S. administration and is likely to focus on ways to keep the pressure on North Korea and continue their sanctions-oriented approach to curbing the regime's nuclear program. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.